हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिवानी एंड वेलकम टू सिविल सीरीज ओके सो एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज दार्ट टू ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर शॉर्ट नोट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इनडिटर्मिनेंसी पार्ट एंड इन दैट इनडिटर्मिनेंसी काइनामेटिक इनडिटर्मिनेंसी इज रिमेनिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ काइनामेटिक इनडिटर्मिनेंसी फर्स्ट देन then internal release in kinematic indeterminacy this is also represented by rr okay so this is internal release and internal release here the same conditions are there as uh, first we see in the static indeterminacy so here the value is degree of freedom okay one value is uh, internal release and another value is degree of freedom so degree of freedom is 4 for, for internal hinge for internal hinge for internal roller for internal roller next for internal internal horizontal guided roller and internal vertical guided roller okay you can use this to solve the kinematic indeterminacy okay you can only use the degree of freedom to solve the kinematic indeterminacy okay this is first method okay and then next is this is a junction or this is a joint okay here m dash is the number of m dash is the number of member meeting at junction okay so here rr value is equals to m dash plus 2 m dash plus 2 okay so this is the junction and number of members are this is first member this is second and this is third member okay so m dash is equals to 3 plus 2 equal to 5 so here for this junction rr is equals to 5 okay so you can solve by this method also so this is the second method okay to find out the internal release this is the first first method and this is the second method then uh, we'll see how to use these internal releases in original kinematic indeterminacy formulas okay then next is then kinematic indeterminacy first we'll see kinematic indeterminacy formulas for 2d beam or frame 2d beam or frame okay so here first so here first for a rigid frame or rigid joint first for rigid joint second is for roller support second is for roller support third for hinge support third for hinge support then fourth for fixed support fourth for fix support okay so here the degree of freedom is degree of freedom is equal to 3 then next for roller degree of freedom is equal to 2 for hinge degree of freedom is equal to 1 and for fix support degree of freedom is equal to 0 okay then similarly the degree of freedom for the vertical vertical guided roller support and last horizontal guided roller support so degree of freedom is degree of freedom is one for both of vertical and horizontal guided roller support okay here this is the one condition you can solve the kinematic indeterminacy with the help of degree of freedom and then next is with the help of formula which is dk okay degree of kinematic indeterminacy is represented by dk dk is equals to 3j minus re plus rr okay j is the joint number of joint re is the number of unknown reaction number of unknown reaction and rr is the internal release okay for kinematic indeterminacy internal release is calculated by m dash plus 2 internal release okay we'll see a one a numerical for this kinematic indeterminacy to differentiate how to calculate that uh, dk or kinematic indeterminacy by degree of freedom and next by this formula we'll see a one example 
So here we see the example of kinematic indeterminacy. First example, this is the frame, rigid frame with fixed support. Okay, so first we saw with the help of a degree of freedom. So for degree of freedom, uh, for fixed beam is zero, for fixed support is zero. For this rigid joint, okay, so this is the rigid joint. We call it as a rigid joint. So here the degree of freedom is three, and here degree of freedom is three. Okay, so add all the degree of freedom zero, this zero plus three plus three plus zero is equal to six. Okay, so degree of freedom is equal to six. Next, take the similar diagram here. Okay, take similar diagram here. We'll solve it again with the help of formula. So this is the frame, and formula is degree of sorry formula is d d k is equals to 3j minus r e plus r r. Okay, then 3j 3j joints first joint first. This is the first joint. This is second joint. This is third joint, and this is fourth joint. Three into four. Okay, minus. R e is unknown reactions, so this is fixed beam. Fixed beam. Here is also fixed beam. Three reaction for this support. Three reaction for this support. Minus six plus. There is a no internal hinge support present in the given frame. Okay, if there are this kind of internal hinges present in this frame, then you can take the R e as M dash plus two. Okay, then you take R R R is equals to M dash plus two. Here two members are connected, first and second. So two plus two equal to four. Okay, if internal hinge is present, but in this particular diagram there is no internal hinge, so that's why I take R E as zero. Okay, solve this. Twelve minus six equal to six. So D K is Six. Okay. So if you solve with the help of degree of freedom, the value is same. With the help of formula, the value is same. If um, you solve with the degree of freedom, you get answer easily. So I prefer you go with the degree of freedom uh, value to solve the numerical. But uh, to knowledge and to find out the uh, values of R, E, R, R, and J, so this formula is also important. For the MCQ point of view and for the numerical point of view, degree of freedom is easy method to solve the question. Then next is then kinematic indeterminacy for 3D structure. Okay, 3D structure in case of beam and frame. 3D structure in case of beam or frame. Okay, in that first is Rigid joint, rigid joint. For rigid joint, the degree of freedom rigid joint is like this. This is the rigid joint. Okay, in case of frame or beam, and uh, degree of freedom for this rigid joint is six. Then second is a roller support, a roller support, and for roller support, the degree of freedom is five. Then third for hinge support, for Hinge support. Degree of freedom is three. And last is fixed support. For fixed kind of support, the degree of freedom is zero. Okay, so these are the degree of freedoms for different kind of supports in 3D structure. And uh, one formula is there. Okay, you can solve uh, the kinematic indeterminacy DK with the help of this degree of freedom. Or you can solve the degree of freedom with the help of this formula. Whichever is easy for you, you can choose that. Dk is equals to 6j minus re plus rr. Okay, rr is the internal release for kinematic indeterminacy. Re is the unknown reactions present, and j is the number of joints. Then next. So here we solve one numerical which is related to a 3D. Frame structures, and this is an example. First, we solve by using the degree of freedom, and then we solve the same numerical with the help of formula. Okay, so here first the degree of freedom for rigid joint is six, six and six. Here is also six. 
okay then degree of freedom for fixed support 3 sorry degree of freedom for fixed support is 0 for fixed support is 0 here for rigid joint 3 and for the roller 5 okay add all the degree of freedoms dk is equal to summation of degree of freedom 6 plus 6 6 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 this is equal to 32 okay the degree of freedom at dk equal to 32 okay then we solve with the help of formula so formula for dk is 6j minus re plus rr okay here internal release is not present so rr value is equal to 0 okay then joints so here this is first joint second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth joint so six into eight minus re number of reactions so for fixed support in case of 3d structure okay in case of 3d structure so the fixed support reactions are six in case of hinge three reactions are there in case of roller one and in case of fixed six reactions are there so add this 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 1 re equal to re equal to 16 re equal to 16 here so take 16 here this is 48 minus 16 so here dk is also equal to 32 okay so values of dk are same if you solve with the help of formula or you can solve with the help of degree of freedom whichever the method is easy for you you can adopt that method so i suggest go with the degree of freedom because it is easy to solve the dk value and for the ds go with the formulas okay then next is then next the kinematic indeterminacy for truss for truss or pin jointed structure truss or pin jointed structure okay truss are the structures which is always truss are the structure which is always carries which always carries axial load which always carry axial load no movement and no rotation no movement and no rotation is there in case of trusses okay so here the degree of freedom for pin joint is for pin joint Okay, so degree of freedom for pin joint is equal to 2. Then for hinge support, then for hinge support, degree of freedom is also equal to 2. Then for roller support, then for roller support, degree of freedom is equal to 1. Okay, these are the degree of freedoms. Then next formulas to solve degree of freedom is 2j minus re plus rr and second one is 3j minus re plus rr first is for 2d and second is for 3d structure okay so this is how you can solve the degree of freedom and this is how you can solve the kinematic indeterminacy for truss or pin jointed structures then there is one special case in that special case when members are inextensible or axially rigid okay so we'll see that condition too then kinematic indeterminacy for the members which are inextensible okay members which are inextensible or extensible or axially rigid okay inextensible means what so inextensible means member does not elongate member does not elongate it's does not elongate along its length along its length or axis okay the members which does not elongate along its length or axis that members are nothing but a inextensible members or axially rigid members okay so here n dash is a 
number of inextensible member so in the numerical sometime they mention that uh, three members are inextensible or two members are inextensible or else each and every member is inextensible okay so for that you need to add, add n dash into the formula so how to add that so dk is equals to 3j minus re plus rr okay so this is the formula for 2d structure in case of beam and frame so to calculate this dk just minus this n dash okay in case of 2d and same if in case of 3d 36j minus re plus rr just minus n dash from this formula so you get the formula for 3d beam and frame in case of the members are inextensible okay this is also important for me method to analyze indeterminate structure there are two methods first one is force method and second is displacement method in case of force method the degree of static indeterminacy is less than degree of kinematic indeterminacy but in case of displacement method degree of kinematic indeterminacy is less than degree of static indeterminacy okay this is the major difference between two methods then next redundant is treat as redundant is treat as unknown parameter unknown parameter in case of force method okay and here in case of displacement method displacement is treat as unknown parameter displacement is treat as unknown parameter okay next there are few methods in force method in that first one is method of consistency method of consistency also known as method of deformations okay second is strain energy method strain energy method then third one is flexibility method flexibility method then column analogy method fourth is column analogy method then next is three movement method three movement method and last one is unit load method okay last one is unit load method and this unit load method is also known as method of virtual work method of virtual work okay then in case of displacement method there are four methods in that first one is movement distribution method okay movement distribution method then next is slope deflection method slope deflection method the next method is stiffness method okay stiffness matrix method stiffness matrix method and last one is kani's method kani's method so these are the methods used to find out the redundant which is unknown parameter in case of force method and displacement which is unknown parameter in case of displacement methods okay all the methods are important they ask one question about the these methods is that this first point which is ds is less than dk in case of which method and next is or similarly in case as a dk is less than ds is a happens in which method and also ask a redundant parameter and few methods they ask that method of consistency is belongs to which method or as uh, they ask the movement distribution and slope deflection method belongs to which method okay these kind of questions are they ask on these points the next point is okay so next part of this video or next point will be posted in the next video and uh, so this video is all about the indeterminacy part part 1 and part 2 both are very important points from the theory of structure and go through both of the videos and next video will come soon and thank you for watching